number six prep taking on the number four ranked Libertyville Ice Cats. Jacob Siciliano here with former prep forward Joey Maione inside Mount Prospect Ice Arena. Joey, these two teams, they've got a lot of recent history. We're in for a very exciting matchup tonight. Yeah, Jacob, these teams played last year, last spring in the state, uh, state tournament. Third round, prep ended up getting the best of the Ice Cats, but both teams look new. Both teams are fresh this year, so it should be a good one. Yeah, Joey, going back to that game, a 3 nothing victory for Prep to get over what was kind of been a hump in the last few years. Prep has been a successful program, but they've struggled in that postseason tournament. Yeah, that was kind of uh, getting the monkey off the back for Prep. And um, after that game, it was, all, it was all ahead. But that was a huge game for Prep. And I'm sure they'll remember it tonight as they look for, look for the win today. Yeah, and these two teams, they already played each other once this year. It was the first game of the season taking place on September 21st and what turned out to be a 4-2 to two victory for prep hockey. In that game, we saw a goal from none other than Zachary Dawson, who scored actually in that playoff as well. Dawson has been a cornerstone for this prep team for the last couple of seasons. 17 points, 12 goals in just 15 games, Joey. Yeah, 12 goals in 15 games is a very impressive stat. Dawson has a great shot, and we'll look to see if he can uh, bury one tonight. On the other side of things as well, you're taking on a freshman goalie, Joey. How much of a rarity is that? That is Ryan Pett behind the net. Yeah, great on Pet for being able to step in there. Former Northwest Charger. Um, great goalie, very fast in his crease, and I'm confident he'll have a great game today. Uh, and a part of that, too, how much trust does that take from a head coach to say, hey, I understand you're a freshman, but to put a guy in the crease and have him taking pucks on what's one of the most positions inside the game? Yeah, that's huge. Uh, coach Panos has a lot of trust in all of his players, but to give that trust to a freshman is a big deal. But... Um, Pet deserves it. He's a great goalie. And playing for Panos, what is his motto? What's his mojo? What does he want in this game going forward? Yeah, he just wants his players to work as hard as they can. He, he expects a lot out of them, but they practice hard, and they'll be ready. He always has his teams ready. All right, and we're about ready to get going into the first face-off, and Prep will win it. That's going to go to Dawson. It'll be it. In a scrum, Ice Cats picking it up on the board, just going to be chipped away into the corner. Up on the boards. Albright takes a shot off the boards. It's going to be picked up by the Ice Cats. Weber will dump it into the corner. Fighting could not get a shot off there. That was Galino. Jasinski with it now. Jasinski kicks. It's going to scatter on the boards and we'll have a stop and play. Cannot see anything. Gruka wins it back to Jasinski as the Ice Cats pick it up. Off the board, Prep goes, big hit there. Ice Cats with a shot that's going to be deflected. That was off of Grazzini. Ice Cats with the possession on the far board. It's going to be picked up once again by Prep. It's dumped into Ice Cats' possession. Ice Cats moving it across half ice to be dumped right at the blue line. Grazzini will dump it. Razka along the boards receives. He'll deal back. And that'll go all the way back to the far side. Ice that will waved be off. Picked up by Schuth.
Taken in by Prep, but that'll be intercepted by the Ice Cats. Moving quickly on the boards is Scap. Scap, an all star for the Ice Cats this season, one of three on the team. As the Ice Cats like to get moving. Schuth dumps once again into the corner to Binkley. Big hit there on the boards. That was Matthew Call for Prep. Prep's moving quickly. Into enemy ice, jumped right behind the net. And this will be moved quickly up ice by the Ice Cats, taken in by Qual, and shot right back towards the goaltender. Another all star for the Ice Cats in Vincent Simeon. Binkley bumped on the boards. Big hit there from Schnur. Michael Eck will dump that back to the goaltender, Pet taking it up on the outside, deflected over. Albright tries to take a swing at it, cannot. Dawson and Albright in a scrum. Dawson takes a hit on the right side. Fight, that's tops in there with Kesson and Dawson. This will come all the way out and it'll be chipped back into Ice Cats territory. Taking now, big hit! Big hit by Dawson. Dawson knocked him to the ground. As Prep fights on the far side for the boards. Hit all the way back around. Dawson will take it up. Dawson to Albright alongside the boards. Ice Cats recover. Moving up on the far side across center ice, and they'll just dump that back. Icing waved off. A key note here, uh, Coach Pano says number 13, Captain Nick Albrick on forward today. Usually a stay-at-home defenseman, but he has an offensive side to his game, and he looks strong up there to start. Ben Scat passes back to Albright, one of the two All-Stars for this prep hockey club. Backside scrum along the boards. That'll be chipped up and deflected off the top of the stick for the Ice Cats. Flipped back. Ice Cats try to retain possession. It'll be dumped into the backboard. Icing waved off. Gruka. Went between Gruka's legs there. Taking a poke at it is Phil Braska. He can't get it. Big hit again. On the far side of the boards, that was Gruka. Shot dumped into the corner by Jasinski. It'll be picked up by the Ice Hats, moving along the far side of the board. Gets tripped up by the official. Kicked back along the board, still on that far side. As we get moving forward. Taking it up now is Ori. Joseph Ori working pass over the middle. It's going to be picked off, now picked up by Schuth. Prep now on the offensive. Bringing it up is Volke. as I believe we'll get a stop in play. Joey, so far, what are you seeing in a tie game here and kind of a grudge match between these two hockey clubs? Yeah, back and forth game right now. Not much possession on either side. A lot of dump-ins, but we should, we should see some more offense coming up. Both teams are still kind of getting settled into the game. Out there on the ice, Ryan, or excuse me, Landon Hemsley, this is his first game back from injury. He dislocated his knee before league play started. He's back on the ice for the first time tonight. Galano takes it, moving up on the far side, skating quickly. He's got a shot opportunity, save! One of the first shots on goal tonight. Another rebound shot will be blocked. This prep takes up the offensive here. Stolen, Dawson looking for a shot. That'll be deflected. That's off the stick of Schaap. It'll go out of play and we'll have a face off in Ice Cat territory. You gotta see that electric playmaking ability there from Dawson. Yeah, he, he saw he saw the opening open up in the crease and took a shot. Yeah, he has a hot stick hot stick right now. So anything he can shoot, that's who you want shooting like right you now. Like you mentioned earlier, 12 goals in 15 games, very impressive. Really interested to see what Albrecht does on forward tonight. I've always known him as a defenseman, but he has a lot of offense in his game. Shot goes on goal for Pet. One of the Ice Cats for shot and goals as well tonight. Strong defensive game so far. That'll be poked, and Pett will just swat it away. Getting it on the outside now. 
Taking it up is Schnur. He gets decked on the boards, and the Ice Cats recover. Albright taking it up. Center ice shot goes deflected. Ice Cats regaining possession. Phillips will dump it. We'll stop and play. Albright will check out. Great shift for Albright. Looks at home on offense over here. Checking in is Raska. Gruka, Lazar, Galino. As the Ice Cats win this scrum, that'll go off the boards as Pet watches closely. Kowal will take it on the boards and get it out all the way over to Lazar. Lazar gets decked, but somehow gets it out to a prep player as Galano goes back to Raska. Shots on goal, deflected. Simeon with the save. Simeon starting off tonight with a strong performance early. He's got a 94% save percentage. Yeah, that is a very high number for a goalie, and that's something Prep definitely talked about before the game. Best thing you can do when you run into a hot goalie is just test them quick. Faceoff goes. It'll be won by the Ice Cats. Taking it out in the corner is Weber, who will get it out to the boards to Maliva. Maliva fighting. Got it all the way back to a teammate. That was Weber and kicks it all the way out. Taking it up now, Rossi, leading score for the Ice Cats. Cannot get it to his teammate. Prepper covers on the boards. Moving it up quickly now, Gruka. Gruka on the outside, looking for a shot. Passes it, not there. It'll be picked up by Grazzini. Grazzini cannot get it to a prep player. It'll be a long shot on goal and out of play. Jason <laughs> almost... Seemed a little bit in shock on that shot there. Was able to deflect it and had that puck go out. You ever play any, any goalie in your time growing up, Joey? Uh, just for fun outside a little bit, but safe to say it did not go well. It's a tough position. Very hard. Shot goes off the board. Valke will dump it. Out to Michael Lick. Lick. Prep takes possession behind the net, skating up close. Dumping it off all the way. Here comes Dawson. Dawson taking a shot. It got deflected, it didn't have the full strength. Scrum on the top of the boards. As that puck will go flipped out and it believes icing will be called. As expected, Dawson, Dawson starting off strong. Look for him to get some pucks on net here. Dawson is a player for this prep hobby club that has, like we mentioned, been nothing short of fantastic. He's played 15 games so far this season, and like we mentioned, the goals are there. 12 goals. He's got 17 points as well. Can do it in multiple ways. Dumped off the boards. That'll be batted down by Kowal. Here comes Joseph One on Corey. one. Fast break, and Pet gets the save. Freshman Jason Pett with a big save as the Ice Cats will feel the presence of Ollie Schnur there. Jasinski dumps it into the corner. Recovering it will be Schkat. Schkat dumps into the corner once again. You see Dawson there. Dawson swings and a last second shot. Try to catch the goalie off guard. Won't go. Top of the boards. We got a scrum. Both teams fighting for it. Dawson's poking at it. Albright's poking at it, and it goes out into ice cap possession. It's going to be picked up by Gruka. Gruka making moves. Gruka's got a one on one, takes a shot too high. Gruka just made himself an opportunity there. You can see it here on the replay. Making moves, gets the one on one opportunity, but Simeon put himself in a good spot, made a tough shot on Gruka, and the shot goes high. Yeah, that's a great play by the Ice Cats defenseman. He took away time and space from Gruka, who's a talented offensive player, and shut down that chance perfectly. Face off one out in front of the net, but the Ice Cats will recover and dump it far. 
Connor tops in possession. He'll lose it for a second, but regains it and chips it back to the Ice Cats. Ice Cats pushing. Icing would be called, does not hit. As it looked like a bit of a whoa whiff there from Daniel Lazar, but nonetheless, it gets into the corner. Fighting for it there is Ratska. Lazar will pick at it. Back dump, dumps back into the corner. Gruka dumps it. It's going to be picked up by Matthew Schuf. Gruka at the top of the ice once again. They're fighting for the puck. Top of the screen there. That's Gruka in there. All the way pinned against the boards. Puck is somewhere in between his skates. That gets out. Ice Cats win it again, but it goes right back in. It'll be chipped out behind the net. It will be recovered by the Ice Cats. Schuth dumps it into the corner of the boards. Grazzini took a shot at it, but it will be picked up by Phillips. Pet will just hold on to that for a faceoff. You saw Jasinski skating there closely with Quinn Adams for the Ice Cats. As a goaltender, just don't take the chance there. Yeah, cover it up, get, get the face off, and go from there. Never a bad play to freeze it. Face off goes one by Prep. That'll go off the boards. Moving quickly is Voke. He gets it out to Michaelik. Michaelik goes off the boards. Put the puck right in front of the net, but too many ice cats, no Prep to make a play. As the Ice Cats will take a shot. Blocked. It's a good play there by Galito to, to get that puck out of the zone in front of the crease. Chipped across the boards. Ice Cats take it up. Maliva moving quickly. Working on Galito. Now Rossi making a shot. He had an opening. Pet was on the ground. He lost his stick. But prep defense comes to play. Almost tipped in by Galliano. Good save by Pat. Albright and Dawson skating for it. Dawson, three on two, shot goes too high in the corner. High velocity shot from Dawson. A little too high once again. Galino skating on the corner. Takes a long shot off the chest of the goaltender. That goes off the skate. It's Albright. Spins around, makes a move towards center ice. It's retained by the Ice Cats. Ice Cats hailing from both Libertyville and Vernon Hills. Prep is made up of Palatine, Rolling Meadows, Elk Grove, and Prospect High School. We're going to have, I believe, a foul. Prep's going on the power play here as it looks like the knee of number 51 on the Ice Cats caught Albrecht in the head. Hopefully he's okay here. If anyone was watching the Chicago Blackhawks the other night, if anyone was watching the Chicago Blackhawks tonight, you saw Connor Bedard take an elbow to the face. Yeah, unfortunately, Connor fractured his jaw. It's going to be tough for the Blackhawks without him, but hopefully he gets better soon. All right, Gruko at the dot. Ref telling both players to get back here. And he kicks Gruko out of the out of the face-off circle. Both centers gone. Dawson in. Dawson wins it to Gruka. Back to Jasinski. Here comes Olis. Olis dumps it back in. Mark McCulloch behind the net, two men in. Coach Panos preaches that at practice. One by Dawson. Looks to go back low. Dawson on the half wall. Number 12, Olis in here to Dawson. To Mark McCulloch, get the bumper. Ice Cats gain possession. To the defenseman, number 55, Nick Jasinski as he looks to move the puck up. 
Albrecht back on the ice, good to see. Here comes Gruka. Gruka powering on in. Oliver Gruka to an Antonio Galliano. Gruka. Galliano to Olis. Pass. Ice Cats attempt to clear. Risky play by the Ice Cats. You gotta get that deep quicker. And that's a heads up play there by Blake Rossi. Just dumping that puck, killing time for the Ice Cats on the power play. Exactly, Jacob. That's what it's all about. Here comes Gruka. Looks to drop the puck. Holds on to it. Finds an Ice Cat stick back down. Pat looks to play it. Rossi's been the man to clear so far for the Ice Cats. He's doing it all for the Ice Cats this season. Galliano looks back. Takes a second, Mark McCulloch with the puck. Near center ice, here comes the captain, number 13, Nick Albrick. Offsides, they tag up. And cleared back down with 41 seconds to go in the first period. 20 seconds left on the power play. Moved up to Dawson. You think they're recouping for one last push? Offsides. Well, we have 12 seconds left on that power play. 28.2 left to go in the game. Rep is no stranger to scoring late in games. They scored actually against Libertyville in that semifinal game with just 13 seconds to go. And you're on a power play here, so time is winding down. But you have to make something happen in the next 10 seconds. This is one by Dawson. He's the man to do it if he can. He dumps into the corner. Five seconds left on the power play. Four, three. Albright takes it on the boards. They are back to full strength. Ice Cats back to full strength. 15 seconds left. Shot goes deflected. Ice Cats will ice it all the way down. Skating to go pick that up. Is Galliano. Is Galliano. He takes it from behind. Six seconds left in the period. He gets it out to Albright. Albright with two seconds left. One second. Albright takes a desperation shot, but the first period will end scoreless. 0-2-0 zero zero so far here in the Mount Prospect Ice Arena. I'd expect nonetheless, Joey. Yeah, both teams look good. It was a fun start to the game. Um, look for some goals to be coming up, but both goalies are great, so a testament to them. Yeah, we mentioned Jason Pett coming in, coming in as a freshman. The opportunity to say, hey, I can take this over. I have the ability, the confidence, the strength to be a goalie at the varsity champions level in the North Central League so far. And the ability to do that on the flip side, you see Vincent Simeon, who is an all-star in the North Central, in the North Central Division, and has been shut out tonight following up that 94% percentage. We'll be back at the start of the second period for Joey Maione, Jacob Cicillo. We'll be back in a few in a tied game here in the Mount Prospect Ice Arena. All right, welcome back. Start of the second period here in Mount Prospect Ice Arena. Tied game as we get ready for puck drop. It'll be one by prep, taking it all the way back is Dominic Rizzini as he will dump it into the corner. Ice Cats closing quickly. Albright will take it. Albright back on D to start the second period. That'll be chipped up. Good move there by Winman. Out in the corner, out in front of the net. Moving quickly is Albright at center ice. Crossing center ice. He's on a two-on-one. He takes a shot off the glass. And it'll be picked up by Tops. 
Albright in the corner. Gets it out in a scrum there with multiple players. Slap shot goes, deflected. Off the boards once again. Fighting for it, and oh, a big hit. Out into the corner. Moving here is Tops, he passes out. Dumps back into the corner, and a big hit. And it looks like Dominic Grazzini is down. Right in front of the prep bench. We're gonna step away for a moment. We we'll make sure he's okay. Take a quick look. See if we can see what happened. He's still down on the ice. A couple prep players taking a knee. All right, let's take another look at the hit there. Cruzini's getting up now. He's at least sitting up. Still surrounded by his teammates. Graziani getting up here, being helped off the ice. Looks to be holding his shoulder. We're hoping he's okay here. He's, he's skating off on his own power, which is good. He's getting walked out by his head coach, John Panos. Linesmen and referees huddled at the center of the ice discussing. Joey, did you see exactly what happened on that hit? Um, yeah, it looked like Graziani dumped in the puck and the uh, Ice Cats player looked to finish the hit. Hard hit. Couldn't, I couldn't really see from here, but hopefully Graziani's okay. Applause from the stands once again as play is looking to resume. Albright is pleading his case to the official. about what happened on that play. Looks like number 19 is headed off the ice yeah, for the Ice Cats. Rossi just exited the game, wondering if that had to do with that hit. He was the one who delivered the hit, and that does look like their leading goal scorer. So if he is, in fact, kicked out, that is a big loss for the Ice Cats tonight. Albright. Still talking with the officials. We'll confirm here when we get word. Talking with Ben Schapp. The other all-star named from the Ice Cats. How common is an ejection on a hit like that, Joey? Um, I would say it's fairly common. It just depends on how the hit is, where the point of contact was. 
Because um, is there a, a, a form of intentionality to it? Uh, that's hard to say. I, w I would say no. I, I would say Rossi was just trying to play hard there, and it was an unfortunate, unfortunate result. And that will be a five-minute major for number 19, Blake Rossi. So that's a five in a game. And a big opportunity for the prep power play here is they will get five minutes to attack goaltender Vincent Simeon. And yet, in a tie game, in a game that has been very defensive so far, not only are you taking the best player off the ice for the Ice Cats, you're also allowing Prep to have a five-minute power play. Yeah, this is a huge turning point in the game. As they get settled here, they're taking care of some ice. Some ice issues. Thomas Ransom, employee of the Mount Prospect Ice Ring, out here helping. When you're on the boards, because they're icing down the, the spot of the hit right there, how difficult is it to, to maintain balance at times, especially when you're, the game is wearing on and that ice is starting to get slicker? Yeah, it's, it's very hard. And when you're in that position that Graziani was, there's not much you can do to defend yourself. It's the hardest you've been hit, Joey. Mm, too many times, Jacob. Too many times. <laughs> too, too many times. You ever doing some of the hitting? Uh, fortunately, no. Usually just taking it. <laughs> is that the life of a forward? Um, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> We'll try to improve on you that. Have, do you have a favorite though. memory with this this prep crew? If I can remember correctly, there there were some pretty high high highs for this, this prep team back when you were playing. Yeah, we we did a we had a lot of success when I was here. It was a lot of fun. But honestly, the things I remember the most were the friends I made. Um, made some of my best friends to this day on prep. So, that, if I had to say that was that was definitely my favorite memory. I think the last freshman goalie besides Ryan Pett. Obviously, Ryan Pett is freshman in goal today. I believe it's Brooks Brown. Yeah, Brooks Brown did make varsity as a freshman. He's an outstanding goalie. Um, still looking to play today as he's going back to Iowa. So wishing Brooks the best of luck as he's an outstanding goalie as well. Maybe give some advice to freshman goalie Ryan Pett. Is that a, uh, a dream for you to play to play with Brooks or play oh, against Brooks and play, uh, against, college play, hockey? play against? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> maybe you could do some of the hidden then, Joe. Maybe, maybe we'll give him a, maybe we'll <laughs> give him a tap on accident, uh, accidentally on purpose. So once again, huge opportunity here with the five-minute power play. How do you take advantage of that? You are on a power play for five minutes. Does that vary any different than a three-minute power play? Um, yeah, it's a huge. It's huge. I would say just pepper shots. It's huge to get the goal um, in the first two minutes and 30 seconds because then you stay on the power play. Um, this is a huge opportunity for prep, and we'll see what they can do. They have their top offensive weapons on the ice, as it looks like we're resuming play very soon here. On defense, we got Albrecht and Galliano, and set, centered um, on four, we got Dawson, Kruka, and Olis. So stro prep strongest offensive players take the ice. Gruka in the face-off, and you can hear the rally cry from the Ice Cats as they are going to have to go to war with four men for five minutes after the five-minute major from Rossi. Immediately stop in play as Jason Pett, excuse me, not Jason Pett, Ryan Pett was not in goal. <laughs> All right. We'll try that again here. Kruka facing off in the circle once again. Prep this time, rallying the kick out. That's Schnur, he loses it. Galliano is getting back, moves it up to Albright. Albright goes down to a knee and it'll be iced by the Ice Cats. You can feel the tension that hangs in these five minutes. The Ice Cats know their position and Prep is trying to take advantage. Moving quickly is Schnur. Schnur on the left side, trying to set it up, gets it back to Albright. Albright holding in the corner, looking for an opportunity. Five on four once again, dumps it all the way back to Dawson. Dawson takes a hit but gets rid of it quickly to Gruka. Gruka moving towards the right side. Albright, Dawson calling for the puck. Dawson takes the puck. He's getting back up towards the top. Schnur back to Dawson. Dawson to Schnur and it goes back. Prep will have to reset. Under four minutes to go on the power play. Joe, you mentioned scoring before 2.30 to hold that other two minutes. 
Moving quickly is Schnurr. Schnurr dumps it all the way back. Albright skating carefully, looking for Gluka. Score! <laughs> Dawson on the goal. And his 13th of the year, and Pratt takes the first score of the game, 1-0. We can watch this replay right here. You see Albright get it quickly to Dawson, who slaps it right in on the wrist shot. Prep takes a 1-0 lead, and they have another power play to go. Here we go. Who else but Zach Dawson? And they remain on the power play for another 3 minutes and 45 seconds. That's a huge goal by Dawson to get his team on the board, and he once again finds the back of the net. We mentioned how important it was going to be for Prep to score on that power play, and it was Dawson nonetheless, the man that's been doing it all year long, to put it in net for Prep. Nick Albrecht with a great pass there with his head up to find Dawson. Dawson takes a shot on goal. It'll be deflected off in the corner. Galliano looking, takes another shot. Prep still on a power play. Gruka in the corner, fighting with a couple ice cats. Gruka takes it behind the ring, gets it out to Dawson. Excuse me, that's Albright. Albright skating, gets it to Galliano. Galliano down to Gruka in the corner. Ice Cats deliver a big hit out in the corner. Galliano in there with a couple others. It's Matthew Schuth, Gruka, and it will be taken in by Prep. Shot a goal from Galliano goes awry. So we'll get a stop in play. It looks like the net's off here. They'll reset. There was a, uh, a point in time, Joey, when these two teams played in the state semifinal last year where it was a three-on-three. Three. Yeah, a lot of open ice, a lot of skilled players, too, a lot of graduating kids, so that I'm sure that was a fun fun sequence of hockey. As Prep looks to go, a power play, too, here, changing it up. Mike Wick on the face-off, gets it off two tops. All the way out, shots on goal, deflected. Taking it now is Lazar. Lazar gets it to top, stick goes flying. In the back of the corner to Lazar. Lazar out to Tops. Tops skating, takes a shot, and it's saved. Simeon with the save there. You can see the screen, so we'll get another look at this. Tops looked like he just took that slap shot, but it was eaten up there into the belly of Simeon, as we'll have another face-off. Mark Michalek in the circle, facing off against Parker Windham. Wyndham wins the face off back into the corner. But Prep will take possession. There's a scrum in front of the net. Deflected. Galliano shot. Deflected once again. Fight for the puck as we'll see Michael go down. Michael fighting. He goes down once again. This picked up by Raska. Raska in the corner. Michael out to Galliano. Galliano on the boards. To Michael all the way out looking for Lazar. Lazar gets it back to Michaelik. Michaelik outside the ring, gets it deflected. It's right under in the crease. So Michaelik will take it once again. Michaelik in the corner. Rashka battling hard in front of the net. He's wrapping around, gets it all the way back to Lazar. Lazar to Galliano. Galliano back to Lazar. Shot goes, and it's deflected. Moving quickly are the Ice Cats, trying to make something happen. And he will be decked. Lazar, they want a penalty. Schluck was calling for a penalty, but Prep moving quickly back into Ice Cat territory. They'll dump off and change. Lazar taking it up. As Galliano holds it, takes it all the way down into the corner. The shot from Galliano. Off the boards, Galliano cannot retain it as Ryan Pett will hold on to it. Moving quickly, Albright. Albright behind the net, dumps it off. We're back to the first line here. 50 seconds left on the penalty. Gruka, it goes between his skates as he fights with Joseph Ori. Gruka taking on Jack Blinkley. Albright skating quickly around the corner. Shot goes, deflected. 
Galliano gets it to Albright. Albright skating, loses the puck. It's deflected, chance to ice now for the Ice Cats. For uh, Dawson back. Ice Cats moving quickly. Jack Binkley. Ori took a shot there, went no good. Binkley back all the way and it'll be deflected by Dawson, taken in by Albright. Albright, the alternate captain moving things up. Albright with a big hit on the boards to Matthew Schuth. Dawson takes it, takes a shot, deflected out of play. Ice Cats back to full strength. Great for prep to get on the board there, but also give credit to the Ice Cats. Five minutes is a long time to be shorthanded, and I'd say they played that pretty well, despite Only, the goal given up. Yes, you give up the goal. Could have been a lot worse, though, but for the yes, Ice Cats. When you're on power play for five minutes with a major, like you mentioned, Still, could have been worse. They kept it close. Give props to their goaltender, Vincent Simeonin, for, keep on, for keeping them in at this game. Yeah. Couple opportunities for prep that were stopped by Simeon. As Kowal skates backwards in defense, that's picked off. Prep back on the power play. Michaelick calling for the puck. Michaelick making a move. Excuse me. And the Ice Cats will deflect. Michaelick dumps it all the way back. Kowal waiting in the wing. As the Ice Cats regain possession. Dumping across the boards, that's Maliva. Chipping it out is Kowal, and we got another scrum. Kowal poking at it. That goes off the corner. Maliva had it for a second, and now will be taken in by Prep, swinging it all the way back. It's taken by the Ice Cats, and they'll dump to ice. Lines will change as we see Albright come back on alongside Dawson, who's got the lone goal in this affair so far tonight. one nothing with 7.55 left to go here in the second period. Low scoring, defensive, tough affair. We've seen a couple big hits. So far the only score on a five minute power play. Shot goes deflected. Galliano almost had one there. Taken in by the Ice Cats, dumped off. Galliano spinning and tries to get it to Albright, gets it to Dawson instead, and it'll be chipped out. Albright takes a swing at it, shot goes into the corner behind the net now. Galliano delivers a hit as tops. Dumped it off to Galliano to Albright. Albright to Dawson, two on two. Dawson takes a shot deflected. Went off the skate of an ice cat. Galliano takes a swing at it. Back into the corner for Dawson. Galliano Dawson there, taken in by the ice cats. Off the top, shot goes off to the side, off the boards. Dawson once again with the puck, flicks it out. Out to Albright. Albright taking a shot. Good look, but too high. Tipped out by a nice catch. Shot goes from Gruka off the hand there of Simonian. Excuse me, Simeon. Albright making moves towards center ice. He'll get picked. Off the boards to ice. Go the Ice Cats as they look to change lines. Off the boards. Albright took a swing at it. Could not retain. Scrum in that top corner. Taken in by Prep. Moving quickly is Raska. Raska into the corner as Lazar takes it for Prep. Into the corner, moving quickly now. Are the Ice Cats dumping into the corner for Libertyville? Scrum this time in Prep territory. As Lazar will dump it, it'll be put back down on the ice, flicked all the way back up into that same corner. So we'll see Jasinski there, pinned against the boards. He'll be able to flick it out to Lazar. As it'll be an icing called on prep, they'll change lanes with 5.29 left to go here in the second period. When we've seen 
even sides and even lines from both of these teams. It has just been a complete defensive dogfight out there on the ice. Yeah, the only difference right now is that one power play goal. These teams are very evenly matched. So discipline in this game down the stretch is going to be huge. Mark Michalek in the circle for prep. He will lose the faceoff. It's taken in by the Wildcats. Moving it in is Phillips. The Ice Cats, rather. Phillips once again gets it off the boards. Michalik making moves out towards center ice, retained by the Wildcats. Libertyville looking for a two on two. Long shot goes, deflected by Pet. Big hit on the board there from Tops. Michalik fighting for it. He goes down on the ice, taken in by Hensley. Hensley's tripped up. He falls to the ice, loses his stick. Taken in Michalik. His tops will take it off the board. Almost took out the official. And icing will be called. Poor guy. <laughs> official had some choice seems, words there. Seems to be okay, <laughs> though. As that shot went directly off the pucksy glass, about, I'd say, a, a foot or so from the head. Yeah, that was close. Look out. It's like the equivalent of baseball when you've got like your third base umpire or your batting coach sitting there and you hit a line drive right at his head. It's like, whoa, what did you do that for? Time to duck, huh? Didn't mean it, yep. Time to duck. Face off in the corner. Prep and Libertyville. That'll be dumped out. And that will be held from some Simeon until we can get it out. Albright took a swing at it. Into the corner. Chipping it up is Dawson. Kowal with the puck off the boards. Albright poking at it. Kazian had it. Schnur dumps it all the way back out to Dawson. Dawson looking for Albright. It'll be intercepted. Kazian off the boards. Jasinski. Looking for Albright, picked up by Liberty Bill. Shot, glove save from Pet. Pet looked cool, calm, and collective on that shot. Didn't even phase him. Noah Schaff Routine there with save. the shot and a great save from Pet. You can see it there on the replay. He had to take a look there in his glove, make sure he had it. <laughs> great save from Pet. Levy. And with Schnur, Schnur wins the faceoff. Tops takes it behind the net. And a great play from Galliano to get rid of it. Albright to Dawson. Dawson and Albright on a two on two. Shot goes too high from Dawson and out of play. We'll have a faceoff. You can see here Dawson just tries to take it himself. Shot goes a little high. You see the power there from Dawson. Sometimes that trajectory of that shot goes a little too high. Yeah, just tipped out of play. He'll look to get it on that next time. Galliano drops it back down to the ice, swings it back into the corner. Prep All alone is, is Braz to take it. Tops working on defense, gets the steal. He picks it. Albright screening, shot goes, save. Albright with a second attempt. That will be deflected and a big hit. Gruka knocked the ice cat to the ice. Albright looking for the pick once again. Libertyville shot goes deflected. And we'll have a stop in play. Ice cats going on the power play here, looking to tie things up. And that's going to be on Gruka as he'll go to the box on a minor. And in a game like this, we mentioned, it's been a dogfight. Special teams when are there's, huge. When there's even lines, but yes, you have the opportunity to power play now for Libertyville. Can they take advantage? That's the question. First time tonight that Prep has really had to go on the defensive. Ice Cats moving quickly. Shot goes on goal. Pet will cover with the glove. 
Shot there from Ben Schkepp. He's got 15 points on the year, go along with 10 goals. Leads the team in goals for the Ice Cats. This one goes out to Braz, takes a shot. Deflected, shot goes, he tried to take a swat at it. Prep looking to clear, gets it out to Braz. Braz takes a shot, deflected once again. And a player will lose a stick, will have a stop and play. What'd you see there, Joey? A good Take possession by the Ice Cats. Thankfully for Prep, they got a whistle, but the Ice Cats are coming hard. You can see here on the replay, shot from Brosco. It's also a face mask there of Jason Pettis. He takes the stand in the crease. Ice Cats are missing their top scorer, number 19, Blake Rossi, as he was ejected earlier in the game. Big loss for them on the power play. Shot goes, Pet on a save once again, had it trapped in the net. Here we did get another look on that shot. Strong shot, but Pet with the save went, almost went off his side pad there right into his mitt. This one's picked out by Prep Galliano all the way across the ice. Simeon will dump it back. So Albright drops back in defense. Albright pressures as Braz takes things for the Ice Cats, dumps it, center ice. Prep with a chance to clear. Albright bumps into his own teammate. And Jasinski. Minute left on the power play. Ice Cats looking to take advantage. Skating in the corner. Windham. Windham, 10 assists on the year. Prep with an opportunity to clean. It's going to be a one on one, but it's poked away. Poked away there by Ben Schkapp. Looked like Albright had an opportunity for a second. Moving now quickly into prep territory. Maliva dumps it. As Schkapp takes a shot. It'll be deflected. Shot right into the logo. Will be cleared by prep. 10 seconds left on the penalty. Prep looks to clear it. Three seconds left. One last ditch effort for the Ice Cats. Around, no good. Prep back to full strength. Puck still in dangerous territory for Prep. Goes out. Ori almost had an opportunity to make a game changing shot, but it goes awry, and he will get his revenge on Gruka. Shot goes. Blocked, deflected. Gruka taking up the puck. He will dump it behind the net. 40 seconds left to go here in the second period. Prep leads 1-0. Tops taking it. Shot goes high, deflected. And a great play by the Ice Cats to keep that one out of the net. Big hit on Gruka. It's called clean by the officials. Ice Cats, 23 seconds left to go. And we have a stop in play. Looks like there will be a penalty on that play. Gruka appears to be all right, though. Taking another look here on that play. The shot goes, and then a big hit on Gruka. That was Ola Schnur. Excuse me, that was Parker Windham. He'll go to the box, and with 22.3 seconds left, we'll have a power play, and Joey Maione taking us home in a second on the call. All right, we have Gruka taking the face off, the guy who just drew the penalty. Power play one out here for Prep. 20 seconds left remaining. Before the ice cut, we'll see if Prep can get some offensive pressure here. All right. Officials figuring things out. Puck about to drop. Gruka at the dot. Gruka wins it back to Galliano. Galliano shoots. Tipped. Sent wide by Simeon. Here comes Gruka up to Olas. Olas at the point. Sent wide. All break behind the net, and the play is called dead. The net is off. You got nine seconds left to go here in the second period, but you're also on a power play. How, how tough is scoring in nine seconds, Joey? Extremely tough, but the best thing you can do is just get the puck on net. Maybe one quick pass and fire it. Can't think too much. Ice, test, ice Cats take possession behind the net as they're trying to kill time. Little pile up in the corner. 
And as time winds down, prep leads 1-0 going into the third. A little skirmish, but officials are clearing it up. And that's all we have for the second. All right, yeah, well, we saw the Ice Cats get their chance at a power play. They could not convert. Prep gets a power play all the way at the end. We stay tied at 1-0. The goal from Dawson, the only difference in this game so far. We'll be back for the exciting finish of the third period in this game in a couple moments.
All right, welcome back to the Mount Prospect Ice Arena. We told you from the start it was going to be a great matchup, and that's what we've had so far, Joey. Yeah, this has been a really exciting game. Prep's still on the power play going into the third. So this is a make-or-break uh, make break opportunity for them, really. A 2 nothing game's a lot different than a one nothing. So we'll see what they do here. It's going to be a little harder to set it up from center ice, but the play will develop, and we'll see what happens. And that's what you just mentioned, the power play. That's been the difference in this game. The it really one has, yeah. major power play on both sides for two different factors. One, Rossi. The loss of Rossi for Libertyville is huge. He's their leading scorer. He's been the glue of this offense the entire year. And then on the flip side, you also get the score from Dawson, which is the one score on the board so far in this game. That's been the difference maker. So going into the third period with the power play, prep again on the offensive, like you mentioned, one nothing game, it feels a little bit larger than that. Yeah. It's going to come down to the wire here. It's going to be a close game. Special teams will be huge. This power play to start is, is going to be huge for prep. Look for uh, goalie Ryan Pett, too, to stand on his head here and close it out. From the perspective of the Liberty Bill, from the perspective of Liberty Bill here, as time comes down in this third period, how much does the pressure increase? It increases as it keeps on going. Libertyville is a strong team, and you'll start to see them push hard, especially with the clock ticking down. Their biggest goal is just to get shots early on Pet and try to break the, break the prep lead. Jack Binkley in the circle for the Ice Cats, facing off against Oliver Gruka, and that puck will be one by the Ice Cats. It'll be dumped all the way back. Pet will dump it off to Galliano. Galliano goes to Dawson. Dawson with Albert, takes a shot solo, glove save. Take another look at that right here. Doing it all himself, Dawson goes the distance, it gets deflected, but wait, but Simeon was able to stay with it, put a glove on it, the face off in the power play. Olas with the puck at the point, quarterbacking the power play as a forward. Here comes Albrecht, Galliano down low, shoots a shot, saved by the goaltender. Dawson wins a battle down low, he's looking for a pass. A skirmish in front, puck's loose, nets off, and we get a whistle. Almost bounces off in there over on the Ice Cats defenseman. Wow, there was a split second there where you saw the puck in an opening there in that crease, and anyone, any stick could have poked it in. Yeah, it was right there. It was right there. Prep not able to capitalize on that great defense by the Ice Cats. Unfortunate it went off one of their players, but there's not much you can do about that. Simeon just standing on his head there as we get ready for a faceoff. He's been great all game long. Faceoff still, still up for question here. One by Prep. At the top, here's Dawson. In the corner to Gruka. Looks far ice, can't find Olis. Here comes Gruka. Gruka on the half wall. Down to Dawson, back to Gruka. Gruka shoots, saved by Simeon. Puck out in front, where is it? In the corner now, cleared by the Ice Cats. Not a far skate for Galliano as he looks to turn around. Under Preps. 25 to go on the power play. Ice Cats changed, prep on the attack quick. Here comes Gruka, Gruka shoots, blocked by the Ice Cats defenseman. Puck down below, cleared down the way. All right, 10 seconds left on the power play for Prep. Five seconds go, and it looks like the Ice Cats will be back to full strength. Albright here taking center ice, being chased off. Extra offensive player comes on for the Ice Cats. So we'll see a puck chipped up off the glass. Taking things now into Prep territory. Tops will take things around and dump it off pass Ori. Taking it up now quickly is Gruka all the way back out to Jesnitsky in the wing. Swings it all the way back around the crease. Shot goes back. Chasing it is Gruka, but it'll be picked up by Kaczynski for the Ice Cats. Skating now behind is Libertyville. Kicking it off the glass. Picked up by Jasinski. Jasinski chips it. 
and it'll be picked up and a big fall there from, from Braz as this will be chipped all the way back into Ice Cats territory. A dirty, a dirty slash by Braz goes unseen by the official. Can't be sweet in your stick like that. Ori moving things up for the Ice Cats. Back in the boards being chased off by Tops. Tops using that big frame of his to block off the defender. As the shot goes, shielded in front of the net, no good. 12.08 left to go here in the third. Prep up one as we get a line change. Galliano back on for Prep. He takes a swing at it here and the puck goes awry behind the net. As Pet will take a long shot and we'll get a whistle. It's going to be a face off in the Ice Cat zone. Looks like the Ice Cats didn't quite tag up on offsides there, resulting in the face off going into the prep attacking zone. And it looks like it is going to be Ole Schnur taking it. Dawson with the puck. Schnur out in front. You get a whole group of prep offensive players there as the shot goes deflected. Phillips takes it. Galliano hits it high on the ice. It'll be taken in by Braz. Braz off the wing. Swings it all the way back. Moving up is the Ice Cats. That goes high. Galliano chasing the puck behind the net. Skating quickly here is Kowal, but it'll be taken in by the Ice Cats. Dumped along the boards. Galliano looks to retrieve from behind. Galliano to Albright. Albright looking for Schnur, but he couldn't get it. And, and Braz will take a big hit on Schnur there as I see a little bit of fighting here between both of these teams. Prep holding, getting it out to Albright. Albright on a two and one. Albright's got help coming. Galliano looking to screen. Shot goes deflected off the stick of Galliano. It's in front of the net, but it'll be kicked out by the Ice Cats. Albright with the puck out in front. Galliano takes a swing at it. It'll be picked up by Gruka. Gruka back out in front of the net. That'll be saved once again by Simeon. Back into the corner. Braz there with the scrum. And this will be retrieved by the Ice Cats and dumped all the way back out by Phillips. A high hit on number 88, Rashka. Gruka missed the puck. It'll go into the corner and will be picked up by Noah Schapp. This dump swung on by the Ice Cats. This picked up by Adams. Adams dumps it. Chops chasing. Tops out to Jesninski. Jesninski to Lazar. And that'll be dumped back by Schuth. Moving here. Gruka tried to take a shot. His stick got hit. Gruka fighting for it once again. It'll be picked up. Pushed by Ori. And Galliano will retrieve. Back into the corner by Gruka. And I believe... A penalty will, on the play. We will have a power play here. Looks It'll like be Gruka's called on Gruka. Let's see if we can get another look. On the foul, you see anything there, Joey? Uh, for the Ice Cats, this is a huge opportunity to get back in the game. I did not see the penalty on Gruka, but but this will be a huge chance for the Ice Cats to get back in this game. One nothing prep here. As we said earlier in the show, special teams are going to be huge. We'll see what the power play can do here for the Ice Cats. Yeah, the difference has been power play so far. It's only been one difference. It's been a defensive game. It's prep wins the faceoff. Taken in by Strap. Shot goes, deflected out in front of the net. That'll be swung on by Kowal. Kowal gets block. it out. Prep trying to clear it, but it'll be intercepted. Taken in by Maliva. Maliva on the boards, gets it out. Galliano. Galliano will clear. It'll be taken in by Braz. Braz out to Ori. Moving things up now is Levy. Levy, four goals on the year. We'll dump it all the way back out to Braz. 
Braz dumps in the corner. Galliano there chasing. Galliano hits it all the way back around. It'll be taken in by Angle. Nice clear by Galliano on his backhand. Galliano will get a stick on it too clear. He's chasing hard here on Ben Schapp. Great for He'll take as it. Well. Opportunity for prep. Shot oh. goes off the top crossbar. Talk Let's about going on offense on a defensive power play. Let's get another look at that shot. You see it here, the shot, the wrist shot from Albright, just a little too high. As great as that shot was by Albright, give credit to Galliano for a great clear and an even better forecheck. Ice Cats win the face off out into the corner. That's shot. Prep just that close to taking a 2 0 lead. Especially on a power play from the Ice Cats. Talk about a demoralizing factor there. That could have been it, a couple inches away. Shot goes on goal. Pet will swallow it and will hold for a faceoff. Routine save for Pet there. Pet's been fantastic tonight. A lot of shots on goal, but it hasn't phased him. Yeah, Ice Cats to this point haven't had any real great A scoring chances, which is great for Prep, great for their defense. And if you're the Ice Cats, just keep on shooting. Just get pucks to the net and offense will come. Grasco waiting on it. Taking it here is the Ice Cats. Calling forward is Schuth. Schuth dumps into the corner. Binkley gets it all the way out to Schuth once again. Schuth takes a long shot, score! The Ice Cats have tied it at one apiece in the third. A great shot that just finds traffic. Not much Peck could do there. Give credit to the defenseman. Great shot. Nice setup by the Ice Cats power play. You can see it here. Long shot. Pet out of position. Shot perfectly placed in the top corner. And that falls for Matthew Schuth. It's only his second goal on the year. Yeah, good on him. Like, we, like we've been saying, just shoot the puck and good things happen. So brand new ball game with 7.50 here to go. Almost a 2 nothing game and we find ourselves locked at one here. 19 seconds still left on the power play. Here Dawson. comes Dawson. One on one, shot goes deflected. Simeon was able to save it. Dawson had a shot. So we'll get a stop and play with five seconds left remaining on the power play. We'll have a face off in Ice Cat territory. Completely new game here. Taking the face off will be group, excuse me. Will be Schnur. He dumps it backs out, winning the face off. That goes to Albright. Dawson with an opportunity. Shot goes wide. Taken in by the Ice Cats on the board. Fight for the puck. Taken in by Schur. Shot goes save. Glove save. Great save by Vincent Simeon. Showing his athleticism, catching the puck on that shot from Olis. You can see the scrum. Schnur sees his opportunity. It looked like that shot would have been wide nonetheless. But Schnur, you see him flashing that leather right there, getting it out, making the save once again. He's been sharp all night long. Like you said, the one mistake came on that penalty major from Dawson. His prep will look to try to take the lead once again with 7-11 left to go here in the third period. Ice Cats moving the puck quickly up. Behind the net, shot goes, deflected. Galliano back there, shot goes once again. Albright taking the puck, tries to clear, but it's picked off, long shot, go score! The goal from Jack Binkley has given the Ice Cats the lead with 6.53 left to go. Just like that, we have a completely different game. Huge celebration by the Ice Cats. What a turnaround for the Ice Cats in the third. Shot goes in the corner. What a shot. Just got to shoot and, he, and good things happen. We've seen Pet stand on his head for a majority of the night, but it's been the long shots that he's had trouble with. Yeah, the Ice Cats, give him credit. They've got bodies in front, making uh, taking away the sight of Pet. When you can't see the puck, there's not much you can do to save it. Faceoff will go into the hands of Prep. Rasko will dump it back into his own territory. Zizinski has it, getting it back to Raska. 
Prep trailing for the first time all night. 6.42 left to go in the third to change that. Lazar taking it, going down. Ori has it. So we get into a scrum here on the left side of the boards. Taking it out, shot goes to clear for Prep. That was Lazar. Weber getting it outside to Ori. Ori skating with it, clearing it out. It'll be picked up by Tops. Tops clears. Shot out in front to Lazar. Lazar fighting for it there with Brinkley. Getting it out. Kruka with an opportunity out in front. He gets tied up. Skating for it quickly. Goes Kowal. Picking up by Galliano. Galliano three on one. He's getting help on the backside. He flicks it back and that goes deflected off of Simeon. Prep still in Ice Cat territory. Gruka comes alongside the boards. Skating with it quickly here. That's Levy. Levy to the left side on the left wing. Shot goes deflected. Picked up by Ori. Ori on the left wing again. Picked up by Prep. Here comes Hensley. Hensley with a shot deflected. Gruka gets it back to Hensley. Hensley, Hensley waiting deflected off the skate of an ice cat. Shot from Kruka goes deflected off the skate as well. Moving quickly, Ice Cat's trying to get it out for a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Shot from Jasinski goes off the stick of Schleff. Jasinski trying to retain the puck. He can't. We'll just dump it back behind the net. Albright back on for Prep. He comes on and delivers a hit on the boards. Pet will clear it off to the left-hand side. Taken in. Opportunity. Shot goes deflected. Puck still in dangerous territory as Prep looks to clear. Long shot goes from Schluth, and that will go awry. Jasniski will let it go as icing is cleared off. Dawson gets it. Shot from Schluth goes off the boards. Jasniski looking once again. Jasniski feeds out to Tops. Tops swings it. Picked up by an Ice Cat. Puck alongside the boards. Ice Cat's looking to take advantage. And it's going to be held by Pet. We'll have a faceoff with 3.56 left to go here in the third period with Trep, with Pet, with, excuse me, with Prep trailing a point. Yeah, the Ice Dogs, look like, the Ice Cats, excuse me, look like a completely new team as they got that second goal. They have newfound life. And they've been pushing. They've been pushing real hard. Give them credit. Those two goals really woke them up, and they look like a scary team right now with just under four minutes left in the game. Oh, Albright with a hard hit there from Matthew Schuth. He gets up, and he's got the opponent's stick. He kicks it away, and Albright, slap shot, just too high. You could feel the anger in that shot from Albright. Wouldn't have that been something if he was able to get that one. Stick still on the ice from Jack Binkley. Watch Albrecht late in this game as he looks to make a push. We're going to take another look at that. He goes down with Binkley on the boards and comes back and wow, what a laser off the stick there of Albright. You mentioned you take a hard hit, you get back up. A lot of emotion. Yeah, definitely saw that on the shot. Just a little high, but... Prep will look to make a push here. Schnur with the face off. That'll go out towards Dawson in the corner. Shot goes off goal. Albright chasing. It'll be cleared. Moving here is Binkley. Binkley will clear it. Icing waved off. 3.15 left to go in the game. Prep needs a goal to tie it. Albright skating quickly. Two on two opportunity for Prep. It's Dawson on the other side. The pass goes too far. Big hit again from Albright. Dawson takes it. And it will be cleared by the Ice Cats. Cleared and iced. Face off coming in the Ice Cat zone. Or it's not. Waved off. Don't really know what's icing, going on there. Icing was going to be called, but it hit the board before. 
Braz took a hit on Albright there. Icing, way, icing will be called. We'll have a face-off, though, inside of Ice Cat territory with 2.36. Time is winding down, Joey, as we get towards the end game here in the Mount Prospect Ice Arena. Should be an exciting finish. Ice Cats with two third period goals unanswered. To both this point. from long range as well. Yeah, both defensemen scoring. So, Raska off the boards. Pratt moving it. That's Lazar. He dumps it into Ice Cat territory. Lazar taking it once again. Loses the puck. Picked up by Gruza. Jasinski's going to skate after it as icing will be called. 2.09 left to go. Ice Cats just chewing clock here in the final minutes. Albrick, Dawson, and Olis back on the ice looking to make a late push. How much of a factor is fatigue as you get into the end of the game here? Um, the more physical the game, the more fatigue you'd feel. So I'd say... At, at this point in this game, shorter periods, I, I wouldn't say it's a huge factor right now. Schnur won the face off there. Ice Cats taking in possession. Galliano was able to keep it in. Side Ice Cats possession is Albright. Galliano Clears looks to come back in. Galliano takes a shot, dribbles off of Schuth there as he hides behind the net. Kicks it all the way back out. Galliano can't stop the puck from going forward as it's picked up by Dawson. Dawson fires off the board. Back into Ice Cat territory. 136 left to go. Something special will need to happen here if Prep looks to tie. 128 left to go. Galliano's trying to hold on to it. Right there with Schnur. Galliano pokes it all the way out. The black and gold. Albright. Albright opportunity here. Two on one. Trying to make a shot. Goes oh. deflected. Shot from Dawson goes just beside the net. All the way in the back corner, it's going to be picked up and cleared. Unfortunate Dawson was in a left-handed shot because that would have been a nice one-timer on the forehand. Icing will be called. 105 left to go. We'll take another look here at what could have been for Prep. There will be a timeout for Prep. Joey, you start to feel that tension. 105 left to go. That clock will be ticking down to seconds pretty soon. Yeah, it's all going to come down to this as Coach Panos writes up a play. He has his best offensive weapons out there, and the Ice Cats will be writing up a play too. They're going to put their defensive guys out there. So should be an exciting finish. You talk about drawing up a play. What do you look for when you have to call a play? Who are you trying to get the puck into the hands of with 105 left to go here in this third period? Honestly, Jacob, you could talk all you want, but when you're out there, it's, it's just second nature. Move the puck around, try to find an open shot. That's all you can do. Hockey's a very unique game. Set plays, set plays don't always work, but when they do, they're pretty cool. Just to put things into perspective here, how difficult with 105 to go is tying this game? Um, very difficult, because not only is there not a lot of time, you're naturally you're just going to rush. You're going to rush everything. You feel like there's less time than it is. So very difficult situation here for prep. Ice Cats look, Ice Cats look to hold down the fort. Number 31, Vincent Simeone, has been, been rock solid all game. It looks like so, Pet going to be pulled here in a second. Yeah, as Prep wins the draw, look for him to come back to the bench. He's going to be standing at about the hash marks. Just depends on how this face-off goes. It looks like Schnur will be in the face-off once again. Dawson out on the ice with Jasninski, Albright, and Galliano. Those are your five Prep players. Ready to make something happen with 105 left to go as the Ice Cats look to waste this one away. Ice Cats skating as Dawson tries to poke things. 56 seconds left to go. Great face-off win by Libertyville. Albright takes it. Goalie is bench. pulled for prep. 48 seconds left to go on the clock. Mark Mahalik, the extra attacker. The extra attacker comes in. Jasniski shot goes deflected. 40 seconds left to go. Galliano takes it into the corner. Albright with 30 left to go. Back in the corner, shot goes deflected. Schnur once again cleared with 25 seconds. Open net on that backside as icing will be called. 20 seconds left to go. Assuming 
you keep the goalie pulled here. You have a sixth attacker and one play to really try to make a difference. Yeah, as you said earlier, Jacob, fatigue does look to be starting to set in for prep. Their players are on all fours, but when this puck was dropped, look for them to give all the effort they have. Mark Michalik, that extra defender out there. As we tick down to 18 seconds, shot goes deflected. 15 seconds, shot in front of the net, almost. Fight for the puck, 10 seconds. A few seconds too many shaved off the clock as they like to put some time back on. And yeah, time will be called, but the whistle had blown and a couple seconds had ticked off the clock. It says 7.4 right now. Leave it to the third referee, the parent section, to call them out on that. <laughs> Nine seconds will be the official score on the clock as one last faceoff will take place here. Mount Prospect Ice Arena with the student section ready to go. Eight point, eight, the clock has started eight seconds and another stop in play. Right out of, right out of play by the Ice Cats. Six, six and a half left here. It has been a exciting matchup tonight. Both goals scored in the third period for the Ice Cats. They're six seconds away from walking home victorious. The faceoff, five seconds in the corner. It's gonna be kept up two seconds. The Ice Cats will win two to one in enemy territory. They even the season series at one apiece as prep falls. Two to one, Libertyville advances to 14-5 and 0 on the season while Prep gets their fifth loss on the year, 14-5 and three. Exciting matchup, final takeaways from tonight, Joey. Um, give credit to the Ice Cats, a very strong third period and their goalie was phenomenal all game long. Well, Prep just couldn't, Prep just couldn't close it out in the third and it's unfortunate, but you got to give credit to the Ice Cats defenseman for shooting the puck, finding the back of the net there in the third. Well, that will do it from our RDL crew. Want to give a big shout out to our cameraman and our producer Russell Matthews and Danny Lunard from Mount Prospect Ice Arena, Jacob Siciliano for Joey Maione. Signing off. Have a wonderful night.